did a Christmas Carol. I turned it around 22 times, and uh, and I played Scrooge once before. I played Scrooge when I was 39 years old in 1999, uh, just before it turned to 2000. So on Christmas Eve of the last Christmas of the 20th century, I was playing Scrooge. But I was 39 years old, and I glued on eyebrows, and I had a big thick wig, and I had a funny limp, and I talked like Lionel Barrymore. And it was really too much. I was too young. So I think that Scrooge should be over 45, I, I think, personally. But um, it was a great experience, because I love the audience response to it. But I think I'm more suited to it now than I am closer to the proper age. I've been in 22 of them. I've directed it once. I've played every male character and some of the female ones. I never played Tiny Tim. It was not age appropriate. But I did play the turkey boy. Uh, one year I played the narrator who turned into past, no, who turned into Marley, who turned into past, present, the future puppet by Arminio Pinque, and then the turkey boy on the street, and then back into the narrator. So I've, I've played them all and, and had a great time. It's an extraordinary occurrence in the, in the scene. It's the most popular. Sometimes people only come to see Christmas Carol. Sometimes, you know, we call it uh, Rhode Island's grandest holiday tradition. And that sounds like a catchphrase, but it actually, families come until, you know, they introduce their children to theater, to this art form through it, uh, because it's such a magical and important story, and it's 90 minutes long, and it's very accessible and fun and, um, and larger than life. So it's a great way to introduce uh, kids to this amazing, meaningful, live art form. Most great monsters in literature are really human, and we can learn from them. And I love kind of being in there and navigating from the office scene, which is perfectly constructed, all the way to Christmas morning, which is equally perfectly constructed. So I, I kind of guess I like the whole thing. I've been very moved this year about how important it is to the community. And, uh, and that, that because the play is so emotional, and, and so well written, and this year I think is so well realized, so fully realized, uh, every aspect of it. I just have, uh, have been very proud of Trinity, and uh, the community outreach, the food bank, the, the, um, you know, the special shows, the, the programs of talking back to the school kids, every, everything about it has been uh, thrilling for me. And so uh, after, you know, 22 productions in 30 years, you would, you would say to somebody, how do you reinvent the wheel? Or how do you keep yourself caring about something you've been grinding at for a long, long time? And this, uh, this year has rebooted me in a, in a fantastic uh, kind of uh, emotional and fulfilling way. I, I find it very rewarding.